Hello everyone. In this video, you will see how to import a steel superstructure from an analyzed StadPro model, how to create the mat foundation, how to specify the mat foundation level, how to model a pedestal below a column, and how to enter the fields in the property page of the mat. To import the STAD Pro file, choose the From Superstructure Model option. Before importing the STAD file, make sure that the STAD file has been analyzed and is closed on your machine. Otherwise, the import will not be successful. I will now choose the file that I want to import and I will click on the Create button. The import is now being processed and all data from the analyzed STAD model is being brought into the program. After importing the STAD file, the program will show the import log in which the basic information from the STAD model will be provided, such as the nodes, the members, section properties, and material properties. You can now see the entire physical model. From the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, you can choose which elements you wish to view or display. I'm going to choose to view the columns and support nodes only. Notice that the columns are assigned to support nodes in the STAD model are now displayed and the rest of the system is hidden from view. Now, we will create the mat foundation for a few of the imported columns and supports. There are a few options available for creating the mat foundation. For this video, we will create the mat foundation using the diagonal tool that is available in the geometry tab of the ribbon toolbar. To create the mat foundation using this tool, I will choose two points diagonally in the graphical user interface. Once you select the points, the map properties will be available in the data area. This table will include the coordinate positions for two points that you use to create the map foundation. The column alignment setting will be used to align the base node of the column to either the top or bottom surface of the map foundation. Let's now take a look at the fixed level of foundation setting. This will be used to fix the level of the top or bottom surface of the mat with respect to the vertical coordinate of the lowest supported node of the STAD model. In this case, we will keep the fixed level of foundation referencing the top of the mat. This means that the vertical coordinate of the lowest supported node in the STAD model will be the same as the elevation of the top surface of the mat foundation. Notice that the next field will either say top level or bottom level, depending upon what you selected when entering the fixed level of foundation information. For our example, we are re referencing the top of the mat foundation which means that this field defines the elevation of the bottom of the columns within the map boundary. We will now specify the top level as negative one meter. Next, let's take a look at the pedestal setting below the concrete columns. Since this model does not contain any concrete columns, this setting is not applicable. The next setting can be used to add a pedestal below a steel column. If you entered yes in this field, and if there is a gap between the bottom node of the column and the top surface of the mat, then the program will add a pedestal below the column. The size of the pedestal will depend on the size of the base plate and the offset specified in the configuration settings. If you specify no in this field, the program will not add a pedestal below the steel columns 
even if a gap is modeled between the base of the columns and the top of the mat. For this example, we will specify that there is a pedestal below the steel columns. I will now enter the thickness of the mat foundation. When you are finished entering the diagonal mat properties, click on the Create button to complete this workflow and officially create the mat foundation in the program. After the mat foundation is modeled, notice that you can view the entire structure in 3D. Here you can see the pedestals that have been added below the steel columns. Internally, all of the base plates have also been added to each steel column. The size of the base plates will depend upon the size of the column and the offsets that were specified on the configuration page. After creating the mat, you can view the mat properties in the data area. In the vertices, you can modify the horizontal coordinates for any node that defines the perimeter of the mat. In addition, there are some basic properties of the mat, such as the centroid and shape of the mat foundation. From here, you can also modify the thickness of the mat foundation. Finally, you can specify the concrete grade, the meshing parameters, and analysis and design criteria per your choice. This concludes the process for importing an analyzed STAD Pro model into the program and creating a mat foundation below several imported columns.